Leave it up to Trump supporters to turn this into some kind of conspiracy theory. Leave it up to them to, to, to turn this from Donald Trump stranded you out in the middle of nowhere on potentially what used to be a manure farm. Turn that into a conspiracy theory that the city, the city's at fault. These people will do any mental gymnastics necessary to not blame Donald Trump for this. Boy, do we have a fun one today. Apparently, Donald Trump decided to throw a rally in California near Coachella. Now, I say near Coachella because apparently this wasn't Coachella. Apparently, this was a Trump supporter's manure farm or former manure farm. <laughs> So, we'll get to that in a second. First, let's talk about a little bit of what happened and how we got here in the first place. So, Donald Trump threw a rally in California. God knows why. He's going to lose California by a large percentage. It ain't even going to be close. Sorry, California Trump supporters. So, what we're going to start with is this video here. This is a video that was taken by Trump supporters. I want to make this clear. The majority of the things that are coming out from this are from Trump supporters. So, this is a video of all of the people that were left over, supposedly, supposedly 20,000 supporters, supposedly, um, at this rally that had been there for hours. Some of these people had been there from the day before, apparently. These people were left after dark, potentially hours from their parking spot, elderly, in the dark with no lights, no buses. They were bussed in. They were not bussed out, apparently, afterwards. So let's watch this video right here. This is from, I believe it's a Wesley Johnson on Twitter. And uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys decide. This isn't normal. Apparently the buses are no longer coming, or at least there used to be like 20 buses when we were being brought here, but now there's only like three buses operating and it's an absolute. She said this doesn't taste like water. <sighs> she said this doesn't taste like chaos. water. <laughs> absolute chaos. All of us are stranded here. Everyone's stranded here. Something, something went wrong. Look at, look at this. There's chicks that are organizing this that are failing. These people do not sound happy. Look at all of us. If you can just, yeah, we're going to hold the Oh, maybe they can pray for the buses to go. <laughs> They're supposed to be like 20 buses here and it's wow. they are not happy and there's people that go down this street for i don't know how long somebody and they've been running us around through all the different streets Telling us to go east and then going west and then going east again and then going west and it's, it's, it's an absolute mess. Since this is a former manure farm, I think it's appropriate to call this a shit show. <laughs> somebody did something, and it, we need to get to the bottom. Somebody, of this. somebody Someone did something. Needs to investigate who's this in charge. now. Everyone here is stranded. Everyone here is stranded. We're all stranded here. The parking lot is a two hour walk. Two hour walk. Incredible. Oh, it is. It is incredible. Here, sure. Excuse me, sorry. No, Heather, where'd you go? 
Jesus. Well, at least they got their Trump merch to keep them warm. All these people are stranded. We're all stranded here. Someone needs to get the mayor. The mayor? On the phone. How right about the former Coachella, president? California. Put the phone in for just a couple of Wow. Anyway, so let's take a look at some other stuff uh, as far as this goes. Because like I said, almost all of this footage is coming from pro-Trump people. These are people that, of course, are blaming anybody but them. Now, this is a, a reshare from a guy named Andrew, author of America Raises on Substack, who says Trump's Coachella crowd was left stranded in the middle of nowhere because that's where the rally was held, about almost six miles from their cars, with virtually no buses operating after it was over. This is how he treats his most loyal supporter. supporters. MAGA, he doesn't give a fuck about you. But the person who originally shared this, Wesley Johnson, who said, It's 10.22 p.m. Rally ended at 7 p.m. Thousands of people still stranded here, waiting for transit back to the parking lots. Something has gone horribly wrong. Someone needs to ask the Coachella mayor if he had anything to do with this. Parking lot is a two-hour walk. Countless elderly stranded here and can't walk anymore. No restroom facilities accessible anymore. No more water. No food. We started with 20 buses for escorting people to the rally, and now only one bus remains at this point. Buses apparently went home. Not confirmed, but no more buses have showed up in the last hour and a half. Someone find out what happened here. This is not normal and feels nefarious and criminal. Leave it up to Trump supporters to turn this into some kind of conspiracy theory. Leave it up to them to, to, to turn this from Donald Trump stranded you out in the middle of nowhere on potentially what used to be a manure farm. Turn that into a conspiracy theory that the city, the city's at fault. These people will do any mental gymnastics necessary to not blame Donald Trump for this. So let's take a look at a couple other things. So there's, once again, this is a Trump supporter. Coachella has sabotaged the rally. Thousands of patriots have been stranded and riots have been broken out because there has been no structure for how to get out of the rally. The city was in charge and they hate Trump. No, I think Trump hates you. Another Trump supporter here for you, Jen Olson. We'll just click Jen's here. I'm going to show you. Jen Olson, she has an anti um, Kamala Harris post here that she's posted. She's got things she's uh, she's posting from homeschooling, uh, from Cat Turd and Libs of TikTok. You can see that she is definitely a Trump supporter. So when we go back here, I want you guys to take a look at this post. Coachella, Trump's people trapped for three hours, not let out of gates after rally. People finally started breaking down the gates to let themselves out. The police were waiting outside the gates in full riot gear. The buses just left them. Who is responsible? The city. She says the city. So this is amazing. Once again, I don't see... How this is really any evidence of the writing or whatever, but I'll play you the video that she played. I, I don't know if that's for a joke. First of all, these are the people that that believe that January 6th wasn't an insurrection, yet she is claiming this is a that they are rioting, and that's the video evidence that she that she used. That's amazing. But in her own words, Trump's people trapped for three hours, not let out of gates after rally. People finally started breaking down the gates to let themselves out. And who, who's at fault? Of course it's not Donald Trump's fault. It's the city's fault, guys. This is from 1984 is not fiction. Uh, the rally was staged far from the actual concert site on a former manure farm, Calhoun Ranch, which is owned by Trump supporters who probably let the campaign use their land for free. Then Pink Warrior here, now these aren't Trump supporters, obviously, um, says when the Trump campaign says Coachella rally, what they really mean is Calhoun Ranch, a former manure farm. And you can see over here in the blue is where the Coachella is normally hosted. And then over here in the red is uh, the... Uh, shit show <laughs> so like i said a lot of this information it's happening it's coming from 
Trump supporters. Once again, I believe this is a bad hombre. Look at all the supporters who camped out overnight for President Trump's Coachella rally. It doesn't start for another 12 hours. Kamala could never. No buses full, full of paid actors. No free rap concerts. Just love. Just love, guys. <laughs> Just love. Until it's over. And then Donald Trump steals your wallet and leaves while you're sleeping. <laughs> So anyways, we got uh, that going on, and then you got, uh, this is uh, a, a potentially not a Trump supporter, I'm not sure, no, this is going to be a Kamala supporter. Saturday evening campaign rally in Coachella by Donald Trump was punctuated by extreme heat, people passing out, violent ideation, and the MAGA rally goers stranded six to seven miles from their cars after the event ended. And they, they've got a link which is going to take us to this uh, news report from ABC where Trump apparently during the rally suggests a protester may get the hell knocked out of her by her parents. Former President Donald Trump called for a protester at one of his rallies to go back home to mommy to get the hell knocked out of her. His latest instance of using violence la violent language when confronted by demonstrators. The protester was ejected from Trump's Saturday evening rally in Coachella, California, as the crowd jeered her. Trump said, back home to mommy, she goes, back home to mommy. Trump continued imitating the imagined mother, saying, was that you, darling? And then she gets the hell knocked out of her. He goes on to say, her mother's a big fan of ours. Her mother... Her father. Does he know who this person is? This is straight up Donald Trump rhetoric. It's insane. It's crazy. But it's also completely fitting, and it's exactly what we imagine happens at these Donald Trump rallies. One of the other things about this is that during this, apparently, also, the San Diego Times has reported that there were people that were falling out over heat exhaustion, 100 degrees for hours on end as they waited for Trump to begin speaking with accounts of multiple instances of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. I just, I don't know what to say anymore. Locally, we've had some Trump rallies where people have uh, been uh, out with flags on the sides of the road. Um, I, I gave my two cents to those people. Let them know that Trump was a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> one, one rally goer not so excited about that he had some words for me he had some words for me um but uh yeah this is this is what we got going on donald trump don't care about you donald trump cares about your vote and he definitely don't care about you in california if you think donald trump is going to support you when he becomes the president as a california resident Sorry, you're guilty by association with all of us libtards in California. You ain't getting no love from Donald Trump. Shit, he ain't even going to give you a ride home. 